Here we are starting another week of slow train summer. Today we found out not only was RTD slow to tell the public about why its light rail trains are inching along on the south side of town, but RTD never told state regulators about the problem. Our Marshall Zellinger explains how RTD is now going to be forced to be more transparent. If it's possible for a 10 mile per hour light rail train to seem even slower, just look out the window at cars going by at highway speed on I-25. Because of damage to the southeast rail line, light rail trains must go 10 miles an hour for the two and a half miles between Colorado Station and Southmore and for the five miles between Bellevue Station and County Line. What I'd like to do today is uh, fill you in on the commission's actions um, to respond to this low order. During this morning's Public Utilities Commission meeting, Director Rebecca White went over this three page letter sent to RTD. One of the PUC's requests is for RTD to provide all inspection reports for the Southeast Rail Line since the start of the year. We got some of those records on Friday, which show the rail line failed certain inspections starting at the beginning of the year because of railhead burns like this found on the part of the track where the wheels meet the track. According to RTD, this alone is not dangerous, but can crack if not repaired. The PUC's second request will provide more transparency about what's going on. We've asked for updates every 48 hours from RTD on, on what they're finding out on the line, as well as what their um, updates are for when the repairs will be made. The reason the PUC is involved at all is because of this work downtown. In late 2022, RTD self-reported deteriorating rail conditions downtown. As a result of having to shut down this line and rebuild the track, the PUC ordered a review of all lines. That led to the inspections that found problems on the southeast line along I-25. The PUC also wants RTD now to update its transit asset management plan. Why? Because according to the PUC director, the one that RTD provided through 2028 does not include any rail improvements on this southeast line where trains are now having to go 10 miles per hour. You can uh, sort of naturally understand the connection there. The better you take care of your assets, the safety your system is. In an emailed statement tonight, RTD tells me there was no requirement to report the inspection findings and the speed restrictions to the PUC, but RTD is now working on getting the PUC what it has now requested. And you know they're also like, come on, Marshall, don't you have some questions for Excel or something? I, I, th I thought you had a new fixation. Um, yeah, this is what, four stories in the last week and a half now. Uh, when we, Our conversation with RTD last week, they were talking about perhaps putting up signage so people would know more about the uh, uh, slowdowns and not just the closure of the downtown line. I don't know if that has changed since we heard from them on Friday, uh, but the slowdowns will exist until they fix those rail spots. End of the day, it's about reliability. It's about trust. People have to have it if they're going to ride public transit. That's the reason why you've been pushing for the transparency. Thank you, Marshall.